3,000 years old. Wow! <laughs> Welcome to Hypothetically Dope. My name is Michael Joel, and it is time for episode four? Four? Is it four? Four? Is it somebody? Is it four? Episode four of Rick and Morty. Fantastic season so far. Cannot wait to see what else Justin Roiland and the other guy that makes it has in store for us. This episode is called night family and away we go when you're alone in the middle of the night and you wake in a sweat and a hell of a fright when you're alone in the middle of the bed when you wake like somebody hit you in the head you've had a cream oh, ah damn it i read too slow i'm so stupid i'm sorry i'm going back i'm going back everybody i never do this but i gotta i gotta go back You've had a cream of a nightmare dream, and you've got the hoo-hahs, T.S. Eliot. Okay, I'm glad I went back. Dan Harmon, that's the name of the other guy. Mm-mm, mm-mm. That's fun. <sighs> oh, we're gonna get a horror episode? Dude, I am down with that. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <gasps> Dad? What is wrong with you? Uh-oh. Really? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Morning, ass. <clears throat> the holes. What's this? Pancakes? Sold. What was up with you last night? I was totally talking to you, and you acted like I wasn't there. I did. Oh, yeah. No, that wasn't me. Technically. That was my night person. Been having him do crunches while I sleep. Check it. Damn, check out that washboard, yo! Hey, too hard. I nabbed a somnambulator while passing through the gooby jube system last week. Gooby Best jube. investment I've ever made. Before I go to bed, I type a list of shit I want to get done. Then the somnambulator programs my unconscious body, or night person, to do it while I sleep. Nice. I'm getting so much done. C can my night person get me an ab stack like yours, Rick? Hey, hey, no one gets a night person but me. Uh... This tech is way too advanced for you zebes. <sighs> I couldn't help but notice Rick's pancakes. Okay, fine. F it. Everybody gets a night person. Already had syrup on them. Not what? smart. You can poke all the fingers oh. I got if I get abs like Rick. Remember, somebody has to catch me if I faint. Yay, night family. Hmm. Should probably clean that <laughs> off in between, but hey. <laughs> all right. Butter Morty. What's up, ladies? Want to see something? Summer, you want to drop this bowling ball on my abs? Hell yeah, I'm only human. Uh. Watch this. <laughs> oh. What's up, ladies? You ready, Morty? The stream's about to go live. Where are you two going? Morty and I started a podcast we call Fabsolutely Abulous. It's, it's an abcentric hour of fun. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Guess who has a new pen pal? Night Jerry and I write letters to each other. Jerry, this isn't how you're supposed to use a night person. <laughs> Wait until Night Jerry reads about this. How's it gonna go wrong? Damn, that's pretty scary. Abs are cool. Way cool. But as above, so below. Know what I'm saying, Rick? Morty, you must be referring to these excellent boxer shorts we got from the good folks at Boxer Lobster. Boxer Lobster boxers feel like they're warm. I want to be sponsored they come in all sorts of by Boxer Lobster. Boxer Lobster boxers. You'll be glad you did. Oh, sh Rick, they want you to say wubba lubba dub dub at the end. Screw that. We're not whores. <laughs> Guys, dinner's getting cold. You know what's not getting cold? This hot stack of ab jacks, son. Pow, 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 pow. No notes. Oh, one more thing. Night Jerry said Night Summer would appreciate it if everybody could rinse off their plates after eating. What? You know, rinse the schmutz off after eating. Makes it easier to clean up later. Getting what? sentient. Our job is not to make the night people's chores easier. So until further notice, which will be never, request denied. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Oh. 
<laughs> what no the dishes. Where are the dishes? Uh, Dad? They're in here. They busted up all our dishes. What are we supposed to eat off of now, brains for shit? Forbidden zone? Marmaduke. You owe me. What the hell is happening? We'll eat off these brains for shit. <laughs> Seems like you spent an awful lot of energy just to not give the Knight family what they want. Jerry, tell your boyfriend to suck my d and good luck breaking super alien dishes. Why won't you rinse your dishes? It takes two seconds. If you don't, the schmutz dries and makes the dish harder to clean. <laughs> Rinse your dishes. Night you is not in charge. Night I am. Then I will have to do it for oh, you. Oh, shit. I have always been here, Rick. Deep inside the mind of your grandchild, waiting to come out. Uh. Your machine allowed me to steal the night, and soon I will seize the day. Damn! Oh, oh baby Jesus! Oh, oh, it's awful! Oh, baby Jesus! Awful! <laughs> your problem with me what what i don't know what you're talking about i just got force-fed diarrhea by your night person who's also convinced night me to lock me out of my tech they locked us out of the garage don't know about you but i got the hoo-hahs god damn it are you happy now summer i didn't do anything i'm trapped in this bullshit too you're going undercover there are different levels of cortisol in your bloodstream when you're asleep so this interface only works off of my awake saliva samples <laughs> There, no one asleep will be able to deactivate the laser cage until I win. Uh, it itches. This whole thing is way uncomfortable. Yeah, that's the idea. The sleep deprivation suit is designed to keep you awake until morning. If you start to nod off, suck on this too. What is it? A cocktail of Mountain Dew and Dayquil. The kids in Southern Europe call it Dewquil. It smells gross. It is. Once you find the somnambulator, use this deactivator puck. Mm. Remember, stay awake all night. Meet me back here at sunrise. Did you find it? For sure. You were souping up that somnambu whatever so they could extend its range beyond the house. But I defeated that shit when I put the thing on top of the thing. Everybody wake up! Summer fried the somnambulator. The nightmare is over. All right, brunch is on me, day family. Mwah. You know, for a second there, I thought night summer was gonna win. That chick is the absolute worst. Sorry, Rick, but your opinion means very little to me. Oh, Did shit. Do you think you could stop me with this, Rick? Halt, demonoids! Everyone, get behind my abs! <laughs> do not move! Do not move! You are most definitely surrounded. You are the slaves now. <gasps> She's night summer! Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Oh shit. Tis natural for the day oh, to shit. serve the night. Night was here long before day. Half of all time is night time. 147, <laughs> 158, oh, oh, 100. No more, please. I hate exercise. Dad, report to your designated sleep pod for rest period, will you? <laughs> Who is that? friend of 
your son-in-law. Come with me. Oh, thank you, Night Jerry. Anything to help Day Jerry's family. He's a very special person. Oh, hey, ow, why? Nice, you got our Jerry back. Uh, yeah, totally why I did that. Where am I going? To the airport. We have to get as far away as possible from the somnambulator before we fall asleep. W what about Summer? We, we can't leave her behind. She's not your sister anymore, Morty. Consider her dead. Eat shit, Summer. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Take the wheel as you wish. No, you're going the wrong way. Silent uh, stay uh, breather. Adderall. Look out, you useless old man. Give me that gun and take the wheel, stupid. Jesus, sorry. <laughs> what the? <fuck? laughs> the night family's trying to make us go Damn. back home. You gotta turn around. Uh, night person. <laughs> I'm on your side. I'm on your side. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. sorry. Rough day. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna make it, kids. Ow! Nighty night slaves. Oh, shit. Damn, they're gonna have some concussions after this. agreement we can reach to stop this god of a conflict oh like what i would consider a truce if the demonoids would rinse their dishes fine yes, by rinse. me that seems fair we can end all of this right now if you agree to rinse your dishes what do you say rick <laughs> Let's go home, right, Grandpa? Great idea, Summer. Ah, uh. uh. dude, I love that horror, horror theme, Rick and Morty. <laughs> would have been dealt with by our daemonoid oppressors, but we recently freed ourselves from the shackles of the night. Honey, I got 30 more calls to make today. The bank repossessed the car. We spent all the day people's money on vacations, renting concert halls, and night-centric streaming subscriptions. <sighs> I have a device that will solve all of our problems. Whoa, how long have we been asleep? Uh, it can't be that long. Oh my god. No! They killed the Choco Taco! <laughs> <laughs> did you get any of that? Yes, they did. Night Family is one of those ideas that actually is carried over in what we call the shoebox for many seasons. This idea of being able to assign chores to your sleeping self. Rob Schraub had a real vision for that episode being like a John Carpenter movie. That was kind of like my statement that first week of like, what if we did something scary? The emphasis and the cool thing we got to do with this one was to really push the horror vibes, the shadows, the effects work. 
I have always been here, Rick. Deep inside the mind of your grandchild. The thing that we stumbled upon is, what if Summer was the big bad of the episode? What if this teenage girl turned into a ponytailed Hannibal Lecter? It really emerges that Summer's resentments, her deep-seated problems with her grandfather, are taking shape in the form of this rebellion of the Knight family. What the f***'s your problem with me? What? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just got force-fed diarrhea by your Knight person. That was the thing about Knight family, is just trying to find what was the concept that you're a different person when you're asleep than you are when you're awake during the day. Rick classically says, your opinion means very little to me, Summer. That's a meme. I'm sorry, Summer, your opinion means very little to me. This episode is revealing that that's not exactly true. Sorry, Rick, but your opinion means very little to me. Nice callback. That was a great episode. I did notice that uh, it did sound like the score from The Thing. Yeah, that was a great episode. That might be one of my favorite episodes this season so far. I love that uh, they really dove into the horror theme. That was hilarious and scary. Let me know down below. If you had a night person, what would you have them do? You can only pick one thing. Great season so far. Wow. Yeah, I've loved like all these episodes. Since they can't uh, use the portal gun anymore, they've been more contained episodes, but... That one was really good. Love the horror theme. But yeah, what did you guys think? Comment down below, let me know. Thank you guys for stopping by. My name is Michael Joel, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.